What's going on today, Maureen? Well, Houston, we have a problem. So this is what my life has become in my dining room. Yeah, I'm one of those chicken people. The little chicken babies are getting so big that here they are in their little brooder. I have my chicken towels, which we can wash, you know, as needed, and the newspaper to catch any poops because they do come up here. And now because they're hearing me talk, they're all excited that, oh, we're gonna go out. Uh, the great thing is, is that the chairs around the brooder prevent them from jumping down and getting on my floor. They seem to think that that's as far as they can go, which is great. But this does not work for a kitchen living situation anymore. Because before I could just take the brooder and move it around, you know, tidy up. But now it's just like we have an assembly of this fort-like structure to keep the ladies in. And it's just gotta go. So I do have a plan. Out here is what I have as my chicken hospital. And you know, it's just where we kind of keep the dishes and whatnot. But this would work well for them. But being here, this is the only sun that it gets first thing in the morning. And this is on the north end of my house. So what I'm thinking, is that I bring the chicken hospital out here to the yard where they will get some sunshine and some shade throughout the day. Are you here? Yes, we can come out, but you just can't be touching all my stuff today. You're all gonna have little fits in here if you can't come out. So let's go. It's going out day. Off you go. So I was gonna put it along this path, but it's too narrow for the chicken hospital. This area here is a little bigger, so I think that's what we're gonna do, is we'll move it out to here. I just have to disengage, yeah, the traps. I thought I heard it last night, but... Nope. He's smarter than me right now. So the ladies were all around going, what is all of this? And what, 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 what did you do there, Dottie? You just go ahead and get in there? You like the, these new digs? What do you think? What do you think? Pretty nice, hey? Pretty nice. You like it, Dottie? Yeah? So there, we've gotten that moved. Fortunately, it's very light. It does need a little bit of TLC, and that's kind of why I've left the tarp on top, just because the shingles are fine. Let's let those shingles last a little longer. So that's all done. Now we gotta get those babies. So normally I put them all in here and bring them out and they can't see where they're going and it does stress them out a little bit, which, you know, it's only short lived and then they forget. But I need them to start seeing the pathway around the house so that they start realizing that, you know, it isn't where, you know, here we are in this and then we arrive to someplace else. So I am going to attempt to do it by taking them by hand. So I put on my poop shirt to start. Um, that way if they poop on me, also it protects me from their little arms from scratching me up and uh, to help protect me. So we'll see who will come. Well, hello, chicken babies. Hello. Who's gonna step up? Who's gonna step up? Come on. Oh yeah, there's nothing, no treats in my hand. Come on. Who's gonna step up? Are you gonna come up, Sadie? Come on. Come on, Sadie. Okay, you're not gonna step up? Okay. Let's take two. Get up there, okay. You're up one, you're fine. You're up two. Let's see if I can get a third one. You want to come up? There we go. <laughs> no, I need you off my head. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Shh, shh, shh. You're fine. You're fine. You're 
fine. Okay, you're fine. No, no. You're fine. No, no, you're fine. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Okay. There we go. See, you're fine. Okay, here we go. You're okay. so they know that this is a new place to go. Okay, ready? You're okay. Oops. That's gonna be fun. Oh, she just pooped there. Oh, you think this is fun? You think this is fun? <laughs> so we do have another door here. <laughs> okay, I got him. In you go, you little rugrats. There you go. Okay, three down, three to go. So we were just having some technical difficulties with the gimbal or else I would have got them all three in there, but it was, uh, this gimbal was gimbling. <laughs> and these three, they just waited. They're just still here. They don't take off because they just, if they don't know the area, they don't want to go. So we'll do these ones a little quicker. Come on. <laughs> Two. Right. Off we go. We have to get all used to where we live. Yes. Uh. Okay, I'm going again going to put them through this door so that they Can I get you to open the door? Mm -hmm. So that they learn that this is another spot they can go to. They'll find their sisters. <laughs> this is when we jump out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no. All three. <laughs> Don't think that. Okay. <sighs> One. <laughs> okay, you do need to learn this spot. There. <laughs> One. Where are you guys going? Oh! <sighs> Didn't have it. You can get out! She doesn't know that she can get out this other way. Uh -huh. Daisy? And she's always the last one to go in. Daisy, Daisy. You know, if you stand there, then that's going to make her come this way. She's like, how do I get in? How do I get in? <laughs> okay. Great. Find your way. Hello. Here we are. Here we are, we're over here, come on. So basically they'll spend their days in here and then at nighttime I will put them back into their brooder and put the, the cage over top. And so then it's not like they're gonna be making as much mess and I don't have to have, you know, my chairs all, all assembled to keep them in. They'll just spend their days in here. And so far they seem to be really, really liking it. And once they kind of get climatized 
uh, to this way of life, then I will be putting them into my coop. And the great thing with the coop, this is all kind of enclosed. So once I close the door, it will be a safe place for the babies. And then the big girls will be able to see them, you know, from down in here. And the big girls will hang out there in their playground. I don't have to close that secondary gate, but that is another option. But this way, the girls will be around and the babies can familiarize themselves in this area. Basically, um, a chicken only will go where it knows. And so if it's in an area where they go, we don't know this area, they will start looking for the area that's familiar to them, which is one of the reasons why walking them out like I did, it is letting them see that their world is actually a lot bigger than what they've known so far. But this is gonna work out great. Um, yeah, it's that little bit of extra work every single day for the safety of the, the chickens. I wouldn't wanna leave them in here overnight because there is no foundation. So anything can, you know, dig under there and, and get into where the chicken babies were. If I had this on a concrete base, I would probably feel safer about leaving them in overnight. But at this point, um, we'll just play this game for a little while and uh, see how it goes. Are we all just resting? Oh, we are. Let's go to the end. This is a great little um, chicken coop because it does allow so many different entrances. So there they all are, and they were all just kind of huddled down there. Maybe too a little hot down here, so. Y'all doing good? Looks like you've, you've uh, put a lot of wood chips into that water. I better clean that out, hey? Has an entrance here, and then there is a second one, a second door here, and then of course, as you saw, this is where the nesting box inside and they do have another little window over there for some light. This doesn't, this little window doesn't give a lot of light, like they can't see clearly through it, but it does give light into the place. And then of course the nesting box is lid. So it is a great little coop and I paid, I think $30 for it. Um, it does need a little bit of uh, some TLC, which I've never given it. I've just had it so that if I had a sick chicken, I would have a place to put it. So all seems to be well in our new little space and they can spend the day here. So they have some shade and they have some sun and uh, it's gonna just work out great for the next couple of weeks. And now I can get my dining room back to normal. <laughs> And we are back in business. Everything's cleaned. They will just sleep in there at night with the blanket over top and go out first thing in the morning. So no more perching, no more pooping. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care and God bless. The chicken babies are out.